great event. Pittsburgh's an amazing city. Mr. Mangan puts it on in one of the, probably the sickest places in the city. A uh, little history of Pittsburgh. I mean, it's one of the places where, you know, coal mining and, you know, a lot of money in the beginning of the U.S. was, you know, based out of this area. So a lot of people don't realize how nice the architecture is and stuff like that. So, um, anyway, we found this boutique, Shady Side Inn. Doesn't sound like a good name, but I pay cheaper than the host. I have, like, three rooms in this bitch, which is freaking awesome. And they gave us some Tate's. These things are actually the badass you've ever had them. Homie cookies, they look like bad cookies, but they're actually really good. Um, quick ab check. Obviously, we're going to make it a little bit tighter going into tomorrow, but this is important because a lot of competitors, they always ask, like, what do you do in between a show that's a two-day show? Um, they gave me some apple juice, so what I'll do first is... I'll cash in on probably about like four ounces of this, a little sugar, whatever, it doesn't matter. This is just kind of like good. Haven't had a sugared beverage in, in I can't tell you how long. This is apple juice, but all in all, I try to go for 32 ounces to about 40 ounces as soon as I step off the stage. Now, you know, I'll cut it at night. Um, tonight will be a little bit later of a night because the finals is in, a normal finals in the morning or it's, it's prejudging was today at six. And then the finals would be tomorrow at 6. So that's a little off timing. So I could drink a water a little later than normal on a you know two-day show. It's like champagne. Cheers. Delicious. All right, so a little bit of magnesium. Balanced out electrolytes. A little bit of cramping. This is uh, chelated magnesium. It's only about 250 milligrams. That'll relax the muscle. This is just randomly here. Cold brew. They're badass. Dump it in like a gallon um, of water. Let it sit overnight. And you got your cold brew coffee. Everybody, um, you know, I'm sure you guys know about the Pop-Tart craze, but I ran into some red velvet and maple bacon. Now the problem with the, I was so pumped about the maple bacon, I open it and every wrapper is open except for one. So I only got to have one packet that was fresh. Otherwise, I mean, I don't know what was going on in the other ones. If there was bugs, if people were, I don't even freaking know. But the one packet that was closed, sealed, was so amazing. And I cannot wait to go home and get more. <laughs> but this is going to cap up just like a quick, in between a show, informational, I guess, informational. If you guys took that 32 to 40 ounces to heart, I mean, that's where we normally want to stick. But that's the point of this little segment. Alright, so I tried something new for posing. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you guys last night because I couldn't get the video, but finally I did something different. So, I started off... Then what I did was I walked forward. This is what got him. Chillin'. Shh. Chillin'. Coming to the next show ASAP. Alright, so this is what a competitor's room typically looks like. After a show, getting ready to hit the road. There's me in the mirror. Oh, yeah. All right, so post show hydration. You know, I'm on that Vita Coco. Shout out to Quest from Bruce from Quest. Hooking it up. Salted caramel is my favorite flavor. He also gave us a box of Quest Bars, which is definitely what's up. As you can see, the hotel was also nice. 
Mr. Acton, sorry your flight kept getting delayed. But they don't know that it actually got canceled and I had to drive 10 hours here as soon as it was canceled. Damn. Fit Mark in the house always. It's just the law. Yo Gotti, the law. Check out that song. Got my Kobe 10s. Can't leave without those. Bluetooth speaker, come on, Burberry, just in case. <laughs> Chicken wings, yeah, I ordered BBQ Ranch pizza, and I got chicken wings that are barbecued. So they were just about to close, and I tipped the guy 15 bucks, because they were, you know, they hooked me up, they got it here, and it was pretty quick, it was supposed to be like 45 minutes. Then I realized that I didn't get the pizza, and I got wings. It just keeps going wrong in Pittsburgh, but gotta love it. My non-winning suit. Check out the kitsch. They gave us these complimentary. Not these, but they're pretty good. Some post-show snacks. Can't forget about Eat Me Guilt Free. I just... I didn't have a box on me, man, and I'm kind of upset. I love Eat Me Guilt Free. Post show, you can just have a whole box and it does nothing. Especially the lemon. It's so good. Regular coffee brewing, not my style. This is more of my style. Keeping it clean for the road home. Still got some meals prepped. We got some chicken, sweet potatoes, some whole food chicken in there. That's a little balsamic for some taste. I had to get a little something fancy in. Organic unsweetened ketchup. And it's all organic, low sodium, complete godsend. Here we go! Let's go, Adriana! Woo! Go 229! Number 16, George Brown. Gentlemen, join hands and raise your arms, please.
So we're in front of the almost famous Primanti brothers. I don't know how almost famous they are because they're famous. But basically, this this spot's been on Man vs. Food. You know how much I love that show. I got my Man vs. Food app. Not how I found this place. This place I first came to in 2013. But um, they got one at the baseball park. Pittsburgh Pirates. You always know it's a good spot when they got like a you know, like an authentic place, but, you know, they decide to open one up in your local stadium. That means that's Pittsburgh love right there. You know, we got these dudes over here that are looking at me, laughing, that now they're looking at their shit, so... Who's laughing now? You two. All right, so... Pretty simple, but... Ridiculous sandwiches. Fries go on the sandwich. Coleslaw goes on a sandwich. Onions go on a sandwich. Tomatoes go on a sandwich. Everything that normally would be on the side is on these sandwiches, and they're badass. So let's see what's coming. Well, this is called sandwich grip. You 
know, I would show you, but then I gotta take the camera and do other things, probably wash my hands before I do this because it's nasty. This is the type of sandwich where once you grab it, it stays in your hand and you can't put it down until it's done. So let me put this camera down, grab the sandwich, and do my thing. The one reason why I'm kind of mad right now is because we were just getting ready to head on our like 10 hour extravaganza drive back home. I kicked off my shoes and now I gotta put them back on. That's why I'm mad, but why I'm happy is uh, we got peanut butter and jelly time right here. And I see this and I'm just like, you know, what the hell could it possibly be? So I take a look at the menu. Dude, they got like all sorts of different kind of peanut butter and jelly sushis. They got like all this other crazy stuff that I can't even explain to you guys. Like, so we'll just see you in there. In that bed, we got a regular. I don't even know. I'm gonna open it a little bit. So you can see. Just pull something out. Oh, look at that. All right, so oh, you can't even really see. All right, so what that is, what they call it some kind of grandma's crap. But anyway, it's a uh, cinnabon bread. Mm -hmm. It's um, cookie Cookies butter spread. and jelly. a side of jelly though, because I wasn't sure, like you know, how good the jelly would be on it. So I'm like, listen, just keep it on the side. We could dip it. If it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. You know. I got my milk, <laughs> my jelly, and, and I, my vanilla wafers. Oh yeah, they they gave us like choices of some cool stuff. Like vanilla wafer is cool. <laughs> but anyway, that, that's a real good sandwich. I'm not gonna lie. There's not too much cheese. Good amount of bacon, apple juice. Maybe that'll make me just poop everything out that I ate. Admiring the view. I mean, if you really saw what the water looked like, though, it's pure brown. I think we're we're really better off in New York. <laughs> as bad as New York's been getting with their water. Damn. Looks like sewage. <laughs> 